Yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Jay Bari here, and I'm back with another video. Here to talk about this epic game. No pun intended. Lost Epic. <laughs> I really want to talk about this game, get my first impressions of the game because I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Like, like from head to toe, I am loving what I'm playing here with this game. So just a quick little story around like how I recognize this game or how I known this game to be like coming. It's like I remember seeing like videos on the game. Uh, there was like a trailer, like a PC trailer or whatnot in the game. And I was like, yo, this game looks super dope. It's giving me a lot of, you know, Odin Spear type of vibes, you know, and things like that. And I didn't even know this game had like soul elements and things like that until I played it. But my my going into the game, my thoughts was like, yo, this is going to be like Odin Spear. You know what I mean? Uh, and, I, and, I, and I love that game to death. So the game came out July 27th, um, you know, where I purchased it. And I had to wait a little bit because wait till I come back home um, to really play it. I was playing a little bit through like uh, through um, remote play, but I was like, nah, this is a game I need to play with the controller and all that stuff, <laughs> you know, uh, in my hand. But right from the rip, man, I'm loving what you can do in the game. You know, they have some customization features where you can pretty much pick your character design. The character that I have is the re reason why I picked this character. Is because this is like the default look character, um, you know, from like the, from like the, uh, you know, the, 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 the screenshots or, you know, from the, the, the pretty much the, the games, um, you know, box art or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, you know what, since I, since I already seen this character, this is what I have the game in mind with, like playing as this character. So I, I think the character looks dope as hell anyway. So yeah, I picked this character, you know what I mean? Uh, as far as the class and anything, it doesn't really matter because there's no real like class per se. You know, you can you can end up, you know, developing what class you want to play in the game as far as what weapons you use and whatnot. But it's just different character designs as soon as you pick it. You can change their voice and all that stuff too. And uh, yeah, right from the right from the start, it's definitely Souls esque. Uh, type of game, you know what I mean? They give you like a, a destination or they give you like a, a set like objective to do and you, you go out and you just do what you got to do. I don't really want to spoil too much of the game because I do think the story is pretty cool. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to give like the brief description of what PlayStation has on their store. So on PlayStation store, it's saying Lost Epic is a 2D side scrolling action RPG about war between gods and humanity. The player becomes the deity defining knight, god slayer, and explores the world known as Sanctum to bring the Pantheon of Six to their knees. So yeah, you're going out and you're going out to slay these gods or whatnot. But the game gives you so many options as far as like how you tackle it and what you gotta do to tackle it. Um, the beginning area, really, really fun area. I enjoyed it a lot. The second area that I'm in, a little bit more challenging because it's like a underwater, you know, water type, you know, lake type of, um, you know, location. And yeah, I just, one thing I love is uh, about these games is like the exploration when it comes to like, you know, the, you know, the Metroidvania type style where, you know, you gotta, you gotta pretty much explore everything. And I, I love that about games anyway, because I'm a type of person when I play a game, I'm going to be looking at every nook and cranny every little crevice every little thing in the game like oh what can i do here oh should i go left let me go left let me see what's going on here but so that already plays with what i love about you know video games in itself and that's why i really like these metrovania type games as well i uh, from from when i was a kid to even now because it just gives me that 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 level of exploration and yeah you discover a lot of things in this game as well you know what i mean they reward you for exploring the game and especially that second area you definitely have to explore you definitely have to take some risk in exploring um but you will be rewarded for what you're doing you know what i mean this is some of the stuff i'm showing off in the in the in the, uh in the menus and what you can do in enhance weapons involve weapons create weapons you can do a whole bunch of stuff in this game like this gameplay is is, is, is set to just show you guys what you can actually do um in the game so there's certain pieces where i'm just showing off things and there's certain stuff i'm like i'm showing the gameplay the combat and all that stuff but this is just set up to just show you guys everything you can pretty much do especially in the beginning part of the game 
and I, I, I specifically edited out certain things so there wouldn't be any type of spoilers or whatnot. So if you weren't about spoilers, don't worry about that because I, I feel like this game story is pretty good. It's set up kind of Souls way when it comes to story wise, but it's it's very good. Everything is voiced in Japanese as well, um, which I don't have a I don't have an issue with that at all. The combat system in this game is pretty good. Uh, so you have your your standard light attack, you have your heavy attack as well. Uh, you have you know jump light attack, you have a jump heavy, and then you have your divine skill. Divine skills are super unique in this game because they're 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 tied to the counter as well in the game. So you have this 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 ability where you can divine counter you know um, enemies. So when you see like a yellow explanation point flash when it comes to certain enemies attack and you press your divine skill you can you can counter what enemies are doing and it leaves them in like a juggle or or a crumpled state which is super cool each divine skill though have like a different means of countering so you got to definitely watch what enemies are doing like if they're doing like a jump you know you know explanation yellow explanation point attack you probably just want to use the one that i have is that neutral circle is that one with the red that is like an upward slash and it counters that though the one where you press up l yeah right there l and um circle that is like a more like a straight attack so if you see like a straight attack you can counter that so you gotta be very specific and strategic in how you are using your divine counters and you you definitely gonna notice that especially when you start fighting the bosses in the game you know what i mean because the bosses they're gonna mix up and do different types of attacks so you gotta use the right divine skill uh, for the right attack that they're doing so it, it definitely you know has some you know trial and error stuff here see right there divine counter counter that guy jumping attack with that with the divine skill move so yeah i i'm enjoying the combat a lot in the game i'm enjoying the exploration i'm enjoying all the customization there are 20 20 pages of skill trees in this game and you get rewarded and you unlock certain skill tree pages by doing things so by killing enemies or discovering certain uh you know you know areas or picking up certain objects it can be like oh pick up this 50 objects here and this skill tree will open up or kill this this type of enemy 50 times or this skill tree will open up each boss that you fight as well opens up a new skill within the new skill um tree page so yeah man this game has a lot to offer i really want a lot of people to um you know uh you know try the game out you know purchase it i think it's like 25 dollars I think the game is like $25 or something like that. And they have like a premium edition for like $35, which have like the, the art book and the soundtrack and all that stuff. Yeah, and the soundtrack in this game, the music is amazing, by the way. You guys are going to learn that very, very soon. But the music is very, very good, man. So, but yeah, give Lost Epic a try. It's a great game. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. It looks beautiful. You know what I mean? It plays really great. Um... And I, and I feel like if you enjoy like, you know, action JRPGs, you know, two, 2D side scrolling, you know, like from PS1 or PS2 days, you know, type of games, you will really, or even Souls games, you will really enjoy this game a lot. You know what I mean? I, I highly, highly recommend it. But yeah, that's my impressions. I highly recommend this game. I think it's dope. Let me know your thoughts if you got it. If you don't have it, if you're going to pick it up, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's your boy Jay Bari. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gone. Deuces.